is that in the sky? Sun's out, guns out, summer kit is on. What's going on in the UK? Looks like we're finally getting our summer. Today's ride fueled by PB&J, like a true athlete. And the last couple of weeks, you'll notice I've just been vlogging my weekend training, vlogging a day of training. And I've really been enjoying just picking up the camera, vlogging, not have to like, think of an idea. It's just my training. We can call it the Cyclocross Diaries, which will transfer to the Dad Diaries <laughs> very shortly. And these kind of videos, the training ones, just the vloggy style ones, are my favourite ones to make. So if you don't like it, racing will be back soon. But you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the intensity. After last week's vlog, I had like five sort of rest easy days where I was just commuting to work, rest days. And I do find when you're doing this sort of intensity, you've really got to nail the recovery as well. Because training is super hard, but in a different way now, like not the volume hard, just the legs hurting, lungs hurting, kind of hard. The painful sort that I avoided like the plague for the last couple of years by just doing crazy volume. But today, we've literally got like an hour of efforts. It's like one minute, I can't even explain it. Loads of one minute efforts throughout an hour, which is gonna be horrible. But I am normally quite good at like the one minute effort stuff because you know you're gonna get a rest. So let's go hit it and uh, embrace the torture as usual on a weekend. One, I'm not used to this sun, and two, these efforts are getting harder and harder as we get closer to the cross season. I think that is probably, at a guess, an hour PB that I've ever done because I was like 40 minutes over FTP then. That was crazy. Obviously, there was rest periods in there, but oh, that was, that was brutal. Absolutely dripping in sweat, hanging out. If that's not like my best ever hour of power that's got to be over 300 watts i've never tried it before but just when you're 20 efforts into 40 efforts and you're already hanging out you know it's going to be grim <laughs> and six watts for an hour I'm dead and saying how hot it was it was 17 degrees <laughs> get the guns out God, makes you contemplate how bad you want to win a bike race we are back from the dead and don't I scrub Rocket, come in camera, Look, don't she scrub up? Well, she's got a hip problem. The baby's sitting funny, got a hip problem. Now, I know a couple of, about two weeks ago, I did say in the vlog I was eating healthy, but the Rocket wants to go out for food. Yeah, we're going to a cafe that does do like omelettes, salads. They also do pancakes and French toast, so I'm getting that because actually loads of people messaged me after that video and said make sure you go out with your wife, have dinner because you won't get the chance to do this again. Well not like ever again, <laughs> but like you won't get a lot of time to yourself so I've got to take everyone's advice and go for food. And go get French toast. French toast and we're also going for food tomorrow so. But I have worked hard on the bike this morning Rocket. So. And no doubt I'm going to be a masseuse later for the rocket's hip. Let's get French toast. Maybe I'll pick something healthy. Probably not. practicing getting an empty baby chair out of a car seat because we haven't done it yet rocket i have no idea <laughs> but you got to turn it remember at any oh she's a natural 
Mummy Rocket. Proud of myself. I got a fairly nutritious lunch, didn't I, Rocket? And now we're baking. This is going to be, Sarah's going to take over the vlog while she's on maternity leave and turn it into a baking channel. I don't think I've got time for that. You ain't got time for that? No. Baking with the rocket and baby. It's actually, is this like a healthy banana bread? There's no sugar in it. Yeah, paleo gluten free. Paleo gr gluten free banana bread. Basically, I might, basically you, yeah, basically you might as well just have a banana. But, if it tastes alright, you don't really... Yeah, it does does taste decent, but look at that. A whole bag of almonds. <laughs> so yeah, it's not healthy. The Rocket tried to force me to buy a cake today, and it's so annoying when you say, I don't want one. And she, you were going to go get a French toastie at lunch. She, she just like, took me in every shop. Get a cake, get a cake. Because I know what you're like. like otherwise, if you be like, on the sofa late, and then you'll be like, oh, I'm going to have to go down the shop and get something sweet. No, I'm not. I felt satisfied. Uh, this will have a bit of sugar because I'll put a little bit All of maple right. syrup. So she's lied. She's put maple syrup in there. Just a that little. That is uh, what it looks like. I will give you the end verdict when it comes out. Also, the gym people asked if the rocket wants to join the gym. When you say the gym people, you mean there's people that work at the gym that are trying to get new members on the side of the street. Are you interested in joining the gym to both of us? And then when we said no, they said they looked at you and said, would you, would you go somewhere currently? Because you need to. <laughs> No, I'm going in the gym later now. Project Jacked Dad continues, and I do have one gym session a week as part of like Ian Fields programming, but I'll be honest, I have been adding in some extra stuff, and it's actually where most of my weight gains come from, I think, getting some muscles, because I've been hitting, I won't lie, legs don't get trained, like maybe one exercise a week, it is mainly just smashing the upper body, bit of bench press, bit of biceps, because I've been enjoying it and I only add it in when I've got time. It's not like structured if I've got time in the evening because we're not doing anything or while the dinner's cooking. It's easy for me to come out into the garage, just smash some, some weights and I'm literally just doing heavy hypertrophy stuff. Well, heavy for me anyway. I'm gonna hit up a little bit of chest, bit of incline bench, some dumbbell bench, some flies and some dips and then maybe some bicep curls because everyone loves bicep curls. <sighs> Your boy's gone big on set one. I don't, I stop like filming most of my gym sessions because they're the bits that always get skipped from the video. But honestly, like it is crazy the last couple of weeks, like, well, longer than that last sort of couple of months, how much my strength's gone up. And like my body physique's changed loads, which hasn't helped for cycling at all, but it looks good in the mirror. So that's an absolute win. And in all honesty, I'm probably fitter and stronger for life. And I know when you get to like, I think it's 35, you start losing like one to 3% of muscle mass a year. And I didn't have any to start with. So it's crazy. Like it's hard to accept that you're heavier, you go uphill slower, and you know that you'd be faster if you probably didn't have that muscle. But you know what? I don't know. It's such a tough decision because the wife keeps telling me I look good. So we keep grafting. <laughs> session done the rockets got a jacked man and now that is the rockets no sugar sort of no sugar bit of maple syrup, bit of maple syrup. we put yogurt on there I'm I'm gonna have a protein shake in a minute for those gains but it'd be rude for me not to have some of the wife's cake some peanut butter as well that, that is what dreams are made of oh, yeah and I'll have this yogurt they are protein yeah boy Let's see.
another day on the pedals and another day of spice and what is that again ladies and gentlemen the sun's out summer kit is on and my legs were feeling spicy today after yesterday i'm not gonna lie i'm literally just noodling along on the cool down now i had four by 15 to do and yeah my legs were just not feeling it i gave it some beans in the first couple and i managed to keep it up and put some good numbers out but it was hurting it was really hurting that session yesterday but it's going to be just over an hour and a half by the time i finish this cool down just on the gas no zone two here anymore ladies and gentlemen it is just on the gas and i was just telling myself rest day tomorrow this is my favorite bit of the veld coaching sessions the cool down <laughs> And that is another weekend of training in the bag, a couple of spicy sessions on the bike, plenty of food eaten to spend time with a wife, that's my excuse anyway, and also some gym work. I hope you enjoyed this video, we're getting closer to the cross season now, so I'll catch you in the next one.